They play at a much slower pace than does Tennessee, but then again, everybody does. A nice slant caught by Jared Wayne for a first down. Pushman of this program had a lot to do with Keaton coming here. After the play, Faggy dropped it off, bobbled, and then caught. Gavin Bartholomew, the big tight end. Without Rodney Hammond, who was their leading rusher in the opener, he has an ankle injury, and that play dropped for a loss. The quick pass to Jalen Barton, and he jumped immediately by Barton. Veteran offensive line that brought back all five starters from their championship team of the year ago. Here's Jared Wayne with a first down. And out of bounds near the 15 yards per on the move. The play fake by Slovis. And he slides down after a short game. He's on target and it's dropped. Anate Mumfield, the uh, transfer, picks third down and seven. Lots of time, and now running out of it, Slovis. Fires to the back of the end zone, and it is caught, but out of bounds. Glad volunteer fans on the road. Here in Pittsburgh, their team down 10 to nothing. Here's Jared Wayne in the ball's territory, and down at the 43 yard. The pass batted down, and it is caught by the tight end, Gavin Barthol. Let's start today against a much different opponent. Indeed. Slovis throws it away. Quarterback was his high school football coach in Arizona. Another batted ball, and it flutters incomplete. There is a flag down in the center country in the first quarter last year. His total points for first quarter and in first quarter point differential. Slow this end zone. Intercepted. Trayvon. A win at Texas on the last second field goal. Slow his hit as he threw. He got it to Bartholomew, who got swung down short of the line of the game by about a year. And keep the defense off the field. Lovis under pressure threw it away in the general direction of Jaden Bradley. The heat came from Byron Young, the assistant general manager of a Dollar General store. Good throw by Slovis. He got walloped again on the delivery, but got it off to Jared Wayne. Camp is one of the four team captains. That meant a lot to him. He faces a blitz. He gets hit again, but got it to Bartholomew. The tight end up and over. To the end zone! Full stomach. Slovis over the middle, deflected and caught. That's the second time today the Pitt Panther just shy of midfield, midway through the second quarter. Slovis got it off, showed his arm strength there. It's broken up on a nice defensive play. The intended receiver was Bub Mead. And the pass caught on a slant for a first down. Jalen Barton. Those two catches of the season for Barton in this first half. After the 17-yard game, Slovis scampered out of bounds with a short pickup. He was going in the opposite direction. Four-man rush, a pocket, and almost another interception. For Kamal Haddon this time. Yarder, they put Mumfield, the receiver, in the backfield and motioned the band of Canada back there as well. Dumped off short. Bub Means is short of the first down. By a bump. Play clock at three as they snap it. He gets buried from behind. Wesley Walker came on a blitz. And Tennessee takes last year with a shoulder injury and has not played this year. Well protected this time, Slovis, but nobody open. Now he zips one way short of his intended target. Vincent Davis back to his left hip. Four-man rush with a spy. Uh, the check down to Davis and a first down. Really good decision by Slovis. And Tennessee's coaching step. Play clock running out. They snapped it with one. We're under three minutes to go in the half. Slovis still up somehow and got it off. Went with their backup left tackle and Branson Taylor for their left tackle Carter Wall. 
is one of their best, if not their best, offensive lineman. They get a completion to shots. They've had a hard time defending, uh, protecting Slovis, defending the rush. And right on cue, he gets swung down. And the ball has come out. Tennessee thinks it was.